and knowledge. If you don't know, if you don't have the knowledge, if you don't know their fathers, فإخوانكم فذن إخوانكم the word ألف and خاء أخ means a brother أخي my brother إخوانكم إخوان means brothers إخوانكم your brothers then they are your brothers According to the deen, in the deen, fi deen, in the deen. Wa mawaniikum and your mawla, and you freed slaves, okay? Wa laysa, and is not, there is no not, no harm, or no wrong, alaykum upon you junaah, sin, فيما إن وات أخطأتم the word أخطأ is a verb and the خطأ is a mistake or the mistake itself that you do أخطأتم that you made a mistake به with it or therein ولكن but except ما what تعمدت something that you do it intentionally تعمد okay deliberately قلوبكم your hearts وكان as I said كان means was but here it will be what is because referring to Allah and Allah always is okay كان الله غفورا رحيما forgiven of the forgiven most merciful okay the meaning But this is your sin, is your mouth, but Allah says the truth, and He goes to the right way. Call them, that means your adopted sons, by the names of their fathers, that is more just with Allah. But if you know not their fathers' names, call them your brothers in faith. أَنَّ وَلِيكُمْ Your freed slaves And there is no sin in you concerning that in which you made a mistake Except in regard to what your heart's deliberate intent And Allah is ever oft forgiven most merciful Somebody call somebody mistakenly or he didn't know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't punish him for this okay this one of Allah's mercy and the speciality that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it for this ummah that they're forgiven for what they made mistakenly or what they're forgiven what they forgetting but somebody overslept unintentionally, wake up, he did a mitasar, and sun sat down already. Say, so, Oh Allah, forget it, man. I'm I've been doomed, I've been this, I've been that. No, he did not attempt to go to sleep. Something he made it mistakenly, or that you forgot. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes the burden from this ummah for something that been done by a mistake or overslept or did by forgetting or did it mistakenly. I'm going to stop here with this verse and I want to take you to 
Egypt. Okay? And send dua, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to send mercy on the soul of the Sheikh Muhammad Mutwali al Sharawi. And before I had introduced some of his tafsir, okay, uh, with previous things, and I would like to try to see uh, if we can accommodate in the next 10 minutes, inshallah, some of his tafsir about these verses. After he recited the verses, number three and four, he said, Rahmatullahi alayhi, may Allah send mercy in his soul. This verse is, is connected to the previous one. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had spoke only about two parties. The party is that it should be obeyed, and he said, to his messenger, O Prophet of Allah, fear Allah. And he said to him also, follow what been revealed to you from your Lord. While there is another party that Allah said, وَلَا تُطِعِ الْكَافِرِينَ وَالْمُنَافِقِينَ And do not obey the kuffar or the hypocrite. So we have two parties, okay? Hizb al-Rahman and Hizb al-Shaytan. Okay? And of course, you know which party that you're supposed to be in. Alright? You have those people, the supporters of Allah and the deen of Allah. And you have the supporters of the shaitan and whatever the shaitan leads them. The hizb of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And again, we are not talking about Hezbollah, the political party in Lebanon or wherever they are. We have nothing to do with this, okay? Talking about Hezbollah, okay, which is the Prophet Muhammad. present the truth in the best fashion and the other falsehood and the heart have to make a decision between these two ways or two these parties he has to take one side he have to support the truth Or is going to go to the falsehood. And since both of them are opposite of each other, so they could not merge together. Okay? One is going right, one going left, one going east, one going west. They no way they did not meet. Okay? The hap is from Allah. Falsehood is from the shaitan. There is Iman, there is Kufr. And both of them, two different. They never can meet. They never can merge. Okay? So as a result of this, they never can meet together. As a result of this, you have to make a man to be the majority of your heart to take over. That because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, مَا جَعَلَ اللَّهُ لِرَجْلٍ مِنْ قَلْبَيْهِ فِي جَوْفِ Allah didn't make for any man two hearts inside him. That means you're going to be about the truth or you're going to be about falsehood. You could not obey Allah, have taqwa of Allah and follow the disbelievers and listen to the disbelievers and munafiqeen in the same time. So if you read the first verse, taqallah, okay, tawakkal ala Allah, put your trust in Allah, this is what we're supposed to be about. But in the same time, the other his party, okay, well, I told them to, to obey. Because these people, they have their own ideology. They have their own minhaj. They have their own curriculum. It doesn't come from Quran or Sunnah. It comes from desires. It comes from uh, majority. It comes from uh, different 
uh, things, you understand, because basically it's a lesson from this life, nothing else. Because the heart has to take a side of one of the two, could not be here and there. As we know that the heart is the most important part in the body of a human being. If a man be afflicted with some illness and sickness, the doctor will give him some medicine which will take it by his mouth. And he will go through the digestive system and takes time so it can has impact on the body. Uh, the main vein what the characteristic of Abilities and means and ways of giving healing to the rest of the body. So the heart is like a motor to carry this kind of for the water to take its place. So the same thing about Neither you have the ability to make one heart for Iman and one heart for Kufr. That because Almighty Allah, the Creator, made only one heart for you. And He made it with a limited capacity that you have to fill it with faith and belief in Allah. So don't try to insert anything else with it. As a result of this, the Prophet وسلم, had informed us that the most important elements in the whole body is this piece of flesh, which if it's good and solid and sound, the whole body will be sound and solid and sound. If it's corrupted, the whole body will be corrupted. Indeed, this is the heart. And this is the collection of Imam al-Bukhari and Muslim. Then Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala discussed two things which is the opposite of each other. Each one contradicted the other and could not be in one heart. Which is well known and established among the Arab by saying, مَا جَعَلَ اللَّهُ رَجُلٌ مِنْ قَلْبَيْنِ فِي جَوْفِ Allah never made a man with two hearts inside him. It been known among the Jahiliya people that when a man hate his wife, he will say to her, You to me like the back of my mother, Tadahu Ummi. As we know that the back of the mother is forbidden to her son, 
forever. As a result of this useless terminology, instead of the word divorce, when Islam came, did not make it to be a divorce, but make expiation to correct this falsehood. Because a wife never can be a mother. And Allah made the kafara, the expiation to be freeing a slave or feeding 60 poor people or fasting of 60 days. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had mentioned this in Surah Al-Mujadila, وَالَّذِينَ يُظَاهِرُونَ مِنْ نِسَائِهِمْ ثُمَّ يَعُودُونَ لِمَا قَالُوا سَتَحْرِيرُ رَقَبَةٍ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَتَمَاسَ ذَلِكُمْ تُعَظُونَ بِهِ وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ خَبِيرٌ فَمَنْ لَمْ يَجِدْ فَصِيَامُ شَهْرَيْنِ مُتَتَابِعَيْنِ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَتَمَاسَ فَمَنْ لَمْ يَسْتَطِعْ فَإِطْعَامُ سِتِينَ مِسْكِينَا ذَلِكَ لِتُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَتِلْكَ حُدُودُ اللَّهِ وَلِلْكَافِرِينَ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ As for those who make the heart from their wives, then they go back for what they say. They have to free a slave before they have an intimate relationship and live together. This is being admonished by Allah, if, and He will equate it with everything. As for those who do not have enough to free a slave, they have to fast two months, two consecutive months. 60 days straight, okay? No, every other day or every Thursday, Monday, no. 60 days straight. Not a bad eye. Before they be intimate together. If they could not find this, they have to feed 60 poor people. People. This to believe in Allah and His Messenger as these are the limits of Allah and for the Kafirin is a severe punishment. Also this came in other surah. Which also Allah said الَّذِينَ وَظَاهِرُونَ مِنْكُمْ مِنْ نِسَائِهِمْ مَا هُمَّ أُمَّهَاتِهِمْ إِنْ أُمَّهَاتُهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهِ وَلَدْنَهُمْ وَإِنَّهُمْ لَا يَقُولُونَ مِنْ قَرَمْ مِنَ الْقَوْلِ وَزُورًا As for those who make the heart from their wives, they are not their wives, they are not their mothers. Their mothers are the ones who give birth to them. Indeed, they say something sinful and falsehood. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought these two things which contradict each other. And if a person could not have these two things in one heart, if a person could not have Iman and Kufr in the same time in his heart, if a person could not have wala for Allah and obedience to the kuffar and nafiqin in the same heart, so the same thing a, wife, a woman could not be a wife and be a mother. She going to be a mother or she going to be a wife. Also the other contradictory issue, the issue of adoption. So the person from the Arab when he see a young boy, clever or handsome, or see some kind of signs of that he's going to be a good, strong man, wise man, so he will adopt him. And he became a son to him. He will be next to his children, he will inherit him, and he will take him as a father to inherit from him. All the things is contradiction. He said, وَمَا جَعَلَ أَدْعِيَاءَكُمْ أَبْنَاءَكُمْ Allah did not make your adopted son to be your real sons. أَدْعِي is one that you claim to be your son. You adopt him. Well known among the Arab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to abolish this habit as well as a zihar. The Quran came to abolish this, to remove it, to destroy it. 
and to put everything in the proper place. So he made expiation for the vihar, and he forbid adoption in totality. When Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to remove and change something, he will put the person who carries the da'wah, the teacher, the leader, the one who is teaching the people, telling them don't do this anymore, he will make him example and to start with himself. As a result of this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to be example and to be the first one to give up adoption. As we understand that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had married to Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her. And Khadija has a great position with the Prophet. The cousin of Khadija had bought a slave for her from the slave market by name Zaid ibn Haritha from the tribe of Bani Kalb. The road robber had stole him from his family and they claimed him to be a slave and they sold him. So Khadija, may Allah be pleased with him, with her, gave him as a gift to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, so he became the servant and the slave of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, for 10 years. The Prophet وسلم, loved Zayd so much and he used to serve the Prophet and the Prophet وسلم, was so kind and gentle to him. He served the Prophet for 10 years Never the Prophet وسلم, admonish him or telling him why you did such and such or why you neglected such and such. One day, one of the people spotted Zayd from the tribe of Kalb in the road of Mecca. He went and informed his family. The father, the real father of Zayd, he rushed to Mecca searching for his son. They told him that he's been adopted by a man, his name is Muhammad. The father of Zaid went to the Prophet وسلم, and informed him about what happened to his son. And he requested the Prophet وسلم, to give his son, his adopted son, back to him. The Prophet وسلم, was not ready to give up this man that served him for 10 years because the love of the Prophet وسلم, been mixed with the heart of this young man. So he said to his father, we will make him the choice. We will give him the choice. If he chooses you, he will take part and go with you. But if he chooses me, I'll be a father for him. So when Zaid came, the Prophet وسلم, informed him, this is your father, this is your real father, and he came to take you. If you want to remain with me, you're more than welcome. Zaid, may Allah be pleased with him, he chose to remain with the Prophet وسلم. The Prophet loved him more, and he want to give him a reward for this position. So the Prophet وسلم, kept him and he claimed him to be his adopted son, similar to what the Arab used to do. And after this, he had been called Zayd ibn Muhammad. Zayd, son of Muhammad. So when Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to change this habit, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala requested for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and said to him to be the example for the rest of the community to give up his adoption to Zayd. How is this happen? This is what we we'll continue insha'Allah to see how it took place and we see what Sheikh Muhammad Mutwal al-Sha'ra will continue his tafsir insha'Allah. Jazakum Allah khair.
like to remind you about CIC, inshallah, this Saturday. Encourage you to try to make it. Will be a nice outing for you and the family. There is a place there for the sisters to spend the night. There is a place for the brothers. If you choose to leave early in the morning, you will miss the Fajr lecture because the first lecture is about 6.30. So actually you will miss the Fajr lecture and the breakfast. The second lecture will be approximately like 11 or 12 o'clock. Hopefully to see, if it's not all of you, most of you, inshallah. And inshallah, visit almasgid.com and check the activity and the classes that going in the mosque. Try to be part of what is going in the mosque, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all, bless your family. The minimum that you try to keep was Wednesday class. And for those who would like to know more, please again go to almasgid.com. We have program going in Tuesday class. If you could not come, at least go in adlyonline.com and you can watch it, inshallah, live. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastawfiruk wa natub ilayk. And Allah is best. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد